Hey gorgeous, welcome back to Life in Style. Today's video is going to be all about um, my favorite affordable eyeshadows. I scoured my makeup collection and wanted to come up with kind of a smattering of different um, eyeshadows, affordable ones, whether they're available in the drugstore or online, um, just that I absolutely love in my everyday life and stuff that I could recommend to you wholeheartedly knowing that I love the way they work for me. Now, of course, you take this with a grain of salt. Not everything is going to work for everyone else, but I've also heard very good reviews on these um, brands that I'm going to talk about today uh, through other YouTubers and, and, you know, magazine reviews and that sort of thing. So this is not something that is just like one person. People love these shadows and there are reasons why that is. So I'm going to get started with um, the brand uh, or these eyeshadows from this brand that just blew my socks off. They were just so wonderful, so beautiful on the eyes. And again, I didn't know what to expect, but I was so present, pleasantly surprised with the uh, quality of these shadows. And this is LA Colors. Um, the ones I'm talking about here are duotone shadows. So they're basically a duo shadow and they have several variations so i have six duos here but i want to say they have another six to eight maybe even more on their website i just haven't had a chance to purchase them because buying of other stuff but the ones that i have here i've used all of them absolutely love each and every one this first variation you see here is lingerie it is such a beautiful transition um palette i'm going to call them palettes although they're so tiny um, but both of these very nice transition shades and I've used these so much even in looks where I'm not using the rest of the Duos I'll sometimes grab this just for the transition shades Then the next one here is bombshell and this is the same thing Um, we do have a little darker there But I use this a lot to carve out my crease and if you've watched my channel You know that I tend to do that above my natural crease because my eyes are hooded So I always tend to pick a color that's going to show up really nicely above the natural crease And this color really does it for me and then this you have like a um darker brown Not the darkest brown i've ever seen but a nice dark brown the next duo is Mermaid, which is absolutely gorgeous. I love the contrast between the purple and the white there. And it is not really a shimmery white um, or glittery white. There is like a little satin finish to it. And the purple is really nice and vibrant as well. Purple or any color really, you can have different variations. But I love how this just pops and it's very vibrant. The next duo that I have here is Merlot. And this is actually my favorite of the ones that I own. And that's what it looks like there. So you have this purple color and then this wine color. Um, and just the name Merlot, I think really matches these colors beautifully i have used this many many times um, to create a really nice smoky eye i've used this once on my channel also to create a uh, beautiful look i believe it was in the fall um, i will link that video down below so you have it in case you're interested but it is just such a beautiful combination what i can say about all of these shades is that um, you do have to build them up a bit but that's okay. It's not one of those where you have to build up, you know, you have to dip into the shadow 20, 30 times. You get a really nice build up. Um, but again, it's not one of those where you're going to dip your brush and put it on your eyes and have this like really high concentration of color, which to be honest is okay because I think sometimes we worry that if we get a big blob of color on the eyelid, we worry about if it's going to blend out really nicely. But these colors, I think, just do uh, the build up type of process really great. The next one I have is Night Sky, which is absolutely um, appropriate, especially with that blue. It's got it's got like that almost like a um, that blue black that if, you know, the night is, you know, there's storms and stuff like that. That's what the sky would look like. And then you have this silvery gray color here on the other side, which is also very beautiful. The last one I have is a classic. It's called Eclipse and it's just a very nice stark matte white and a beautiful dark matte black. Both of these colors perform extremely well. I tend to use this to carve out um, the brow bone or to highlight the brow bone and then the black to uh, smoke out the eye look that I have if I so choose to use a black that day. And it is absolutely gorgeous. Again, all of these colors they build up beautifully, they blend out beautifully, they wear really nicely, they wear for a very long time. Um, you don't get this patchiness sometimes if eyeshadows are not going to wear well throughout the day and you're wearing them for hours, you get like patches and things aren't like placed where you had put them when you first started. But this is not the case with these duos. Um, again, really nice 
really love the way they perform on the eyes and I want to say they're like $349 or something um I'm I will put it somewhere either here or here um what the price is and I will link everything down below the next set of palettes that I have was um something that once I started with one palette I was just constantly on the hunt and on on the lookout for palettes that I liked um the variations because they have many um to buy this is the Maybelline City Mini palette and I have five here the first one I have is Matte About Town and this is what the packaging looks like I think most people have seen it and then when you open that one it's basically a matte palette these are such beautiful colors first of all you can use a lot of these as transition shades for different looks if you need to bring in a transition shade like sometimes palettes are all shimmers or that sort of thing very nice smattering I think of that and then you have this nice brown here if you want to just lightly smoke out the outer V I think this is a really nice palette if you're someone who doesn't necessarily like these dark type of smoky looks or needs something really nice for every day for an office type job this is a wonderful choice I've used all of these colors in this specific palette I haven't used all of the colors in all of the palettes but I have used most of the colors in all of these palettes if that makes sense but this one I have used all of them and absolutely love it Anytime someone needs a matte palette, I always recommend that one. It's inexpensive. They're $9.99 a piece. And usually at Ulta, you can do with Maybelline, buy one, get one 50% off. So you can always um, get them on sale. The next one I wasn't going to get, but I saw someone talking about this. I want to say it was Casey Holmes. Um, and she did a look with this palette. And I was so blown away. This is the um, City Mini palette times Shayla or by Shayla. This is the um, collab she did with them where she had a couple of different items this palette included. I want to say uh, mascara as well and maybe an eyeliner but definitely a mascara. So this is what it looks like. This color right here with its jewel tone um, just vibrancy just floored me when I put it on my eyes so what I tend to do is I'll put that all over the lid and also put a little bit sometimes of this gold like on the inner corner and smoke it out with the black very very beautiful I always use my MAC fix plus like I normally do with my shimmers um and that sort of thing and just beautiful I'm so glad that I got this palette it is one of the prettiest palettes as far as golds go because it's just so vibrant on the eyes the next one I have is Concrete Runway, and this is definitely more up my alley. If you see um, seen any of my videos, you know that I tend to go to the blues, purples, and blacks, and we've got that right across that top row. Um, these are very, very beautiful shadows. Again, they all blend out beautifully. Wear time is really great on all of the palettes. Um, I find that the shimmers are extremely beautiful. Mattes are really soft. This is a really pretty kind of shimmery white. Not too shimmery, but just a little bit of shimmer in there. And this one right here is beautiful. This right here um, is also a gorgeous transition shade, which I really love. The next one is called Graffiti Pop, and it is definitely a good name for it with all these nice pops of like the turquoise. You've got this like light purple, darker purple. This nice shimmery kind of champagne-y gold um, color there is very nice as well. Um, as you can see, these palettes just have a really nice um, collection of colors in each palette. And I, for one, have used each palette you know, to create different looks and really love the way I can do that. This one is probably my favorite although I do like the matte about town because it is a really good matte palette but this one when I saw it I went to Ulta and I and I looked at it and I'm like I don't remember seeing that at like a CVS or Walgreens or something and then I realized that it was an Ulta exclusive and I snatched it on the spot I believe this was the last one this is called girls night glimmer and that's what it looks like it's all beautiful glimmer and shimmers and glitters and it's just absolutely heavenly I love all of these colors this one right here is one of my favorites it's like a teal slash icy blue slash silver just kind of congealed beautifully together on the eyes it is absolutely gorgeous this one right here which is like a black silver is also pretty um, again all of these work out very nicely I cannot say anything bad about these palettes there are several more the only reason why I haven't purchased those is because the colors just didn't speak to me as much as these did. Um, but I'm expecting, hopefully, that the quality is still there. So if you haven't picked up one of these palettes, they've been out for quite some time, definitely do yourself a favor and pick one up. I think, again, because they're small, so small, they're great for travel. And you can definitely have like two and get several eye looks between shimmers and mattes and that sort of thing. 
The next brand that I absolutely adore is Milani. Um, the Milani Bella Eyeshadows is one of the first um, kind of forays into drugstore single eyeshadows that I started with when I kind of first started my channel and started collecting makeup and that sort of thing. I have several of these eyeshadows. Um, first of all, the packaging is absolutely gorgeous. You see there, it's a gorgeous gold packaging, just very beautiful for, for display if you like to do that. Um, this one is Bella Charcoal, which is basically a charcoal color, kind of a grayish, uh, steel gray there, which is very beautiful. And you can use these um, wet or dry absolutely beautiful blend out nicely colors are very gorgeous this is Bella Sky which again this name for this color is absolutely appropriate because it is just so beautiful it does look like the sky and I have navies and blacks and a lot of um, transition shades and browns and that sort of thing I just pulled three because I do have so many um, just to kind of show you uh, this one is Bella Rouge which is a very gorgeous vibrant type of like not really a hot pink but more like a jewel toned pink which is very beautiful as well I will say lately and lately I mean several months now I have not seen these sold in stores anymore so at one point I thought oh my god are they phasing these out because I know they're starting to bring out palettes and that sort of thing you still can get these on Milani's website they're not phasing them out from what I know I haven't heard anything to the contrary so if you're interested in these or like me I dropped one some time ago and had to reorder a new one um you can still get them online so they're not discontinued or anything i just haven't personally seen them in stores um for quite some time even walmart um usually i used to get them at like walgreens and cvs and i just can't find them anymore i wanted to also talk about a cream shadow because i know a lot of people like cream shadows um but also cream shadows are really nice to, as a base to start your look or just use on their own if they're really good cream shadows these are absolutely wonderful it's the revlon color stay cream eyeshadows um, the name itself I think was like on the overlay, but this is what the packaging looks like and there's the color right there So this one here is kind of a mossy green color. Hopefully you can pick that up these color stay uh, cream shadows are just so beautiful on the eyes they don't crease they once they dry down they last all day and they have such beautiful colors as well this one is more of like a um, charcoal -y kind of steel color gray there's kind of bluish in there as well um, if you could see that but this is really pretty on the eyes as well and then this next one which I want to say oh gosh I forgot what it was called um, but this is one of the prettiest champagne colored cream shadows I have ever used once it's on the eyes it is striking and I mean striking so what I do when I use this is I kind of go in the inner corner bring it up probably about a third or halfway on the eyelid and then the rest kind of smoke it out with another color but just so beautiful so vibrant so you know like when you look at somebody's eye wearing this it is just so prominent on there and beautiful formula is great like I said it doesn't pill and I have oily eyelids so I always worry about cream shadows on my lids these are some of the very best I tried um, again once it's dry it's not going anywhere which is really nice in fact it takes a lot to kind of get those off once I'm trying to get them off at night the last brand that I want to talk about here is when you hear it it's gonna be no surprise this brand has just blown the hell up over probably the last year uh, when they first came out or not when they first came out when I know when I first tried them um, I, my introduction to the company were the sh super shock shadows and this is for ColourPop. so this is what they look like I think most people has, have seen these they come in all sorts of variations mattes shimmers glitters all kinds of colors in fact I believe they came out with another God, I want to say maybe uh, eight to ten colors recently in the super um, shock shadow formula this formula people love it people hate it it's a little weird because it's kind of a squishy bouncy consistency so this is dance party and I've used this a lot um, not only on my channel like way at the beginning but in my everyday life if I'm doing a purple smoky eye I will usually grab this and pop it just on the center of my eyelid and also use this to start doing the line on my lower lash line it is just such a gorgeous iridescent purple i have a backup of this because i love it so much and then the second one that i pulled out for you to see is called luckfully this is basically 
um, a gorgeous iridescent blue. As you can see, it is beat to hell. I have used the shit out of this thing because I love it so very much. Whenever I do a blue smoky eye, I try to incorporate this somehow. And usually I'll take this and do the lash line as well because it just sits on the eye and on the skin so beautifully. And so you don't blend it out, it's not moving, um, which I really like as well. So I just pulled these two out to kind of show you um, my two favorites, but I own several of them. And there are so many, like I said, so many variations on, apps, on actual finishes and also with shades that they offer. I wanted to show you three of the palettes that I have. Um, they recently, and I say recently, but it's not too recent. They've been out for quite some time. Um, ColourPop started doing pressed eyeshadows. One of the best formulas I have personally ever tried. I am always raving about the ColourPop pressed shadows on my channel. So these three are just kind of a small collection of what I have. I have a few more, but I just wanted to bring these three out. The first one I have is the Femme Rosa palette, and this is, I believe, the second collaboration with Carouche. And that is what the palette looks like. These colors are just absolutely gorgeous. These are more cool toned, um, but you have a lot of um, beautiful, like, lighter shades here. You have, like, this dark matte. Um, I want to say like a purplish color. It's not the darkest purple, but it is a gorgeous dark purple for this palette. You have mattes and you have shimmers as well. I've used this palette several times and I've absolutely loved every single look that I've come out um, with using that palette. Again, they just blend out beautifully. Shimmers are on point and they last a long time. I never have issues with my um, ColourPop pressed shadows not lasting a long time, which is key because if you start out in the morning, you don't want to have lost your look by like, you know, noon time. The next one is called the Yes Please palette. This thing sold out in about 2.5 seconds. Seriously, I'm not kidding. It stayed sold out on the website. I want to say that this is permanent. They do have it. If I am incorrect, I do apologize. But like I said, I'm going to link everything down below. If I can't find it, I'll you know put a little blurb down there just saying it. But I'm almost positive that this is a permanent product. It is a warm uh, shadow lovers absolute dream you have this gorgeous interesting yellow you have mattes and shimmers as well beautiful orange like this reddish color there and this gorgeous deep brown here um, it's a very nice palette again um, in fact I loved it so much that I bought one for my kit as well because I just love the way the colors wore the last palette I have here is the all I see is magic this is let's see okay also a combination of um, mattes and shimmers but look at these shades when I opened this I about fell off my chair I'm like this is one of the most beautiful palettes I have ever seen from any company just this like mermaidy type of teal color there you have this gorgeous like maroon brick color here that's a matte this is a beautiful shade to um carve out your crease or transition just really nice colors here I love the job that they do with their um, palettes and they're very um, economical as well they are not expensive they usually go between 12 and 16 dollars so um, I love to buy the palettes from ColourPop because not only is the quality there but also the price is there as well so if you're looking for economical and not you know inexpensive basically shadows ColourPop is a really nice option as well ColourPop like I've said so many times on my channel is one of my favorite makeup brands um, the press shadows are just something that you have to try for yourself to understand how good they are at such, at such a nice price point I've always said it um, ColourPop is a good example of a company that can put out quality products constantly and at, at, an, at an inexpensive price. And I love how they continue doing that no matter what they put out. So that does it for my favorite affordable eyeshadows. I hope it's something that you enjoyed watching. I definitely enjoyed putting it together for you. If you want to see anything specific in a tutorial um, in the future or just a little more information or a full review on a specific brand or any of these palettes or individual shadows, please just leave that in the description bar below and I'll make sure to get that for you. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Also click that little bell to make sure that you get alerted as to whenever I upload new content. Thank you so much for spending a few minutes of your day with me. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Bye!